4 Ways to Generate Electricity at Home Nowadays, people can't live without electricity, if one day there is a sudden prolonged power outage how to do? Here are 4 ways to generate electricity at home, which you may use one day. 1. Wind Turbine from a Treadmill Motor This simple windmill can be built at home out of scavenged parts and will generate electricity whenever there is wind. It uses a permanent magnet treadmill motor to output around 100 watts and produces electricity 24 hours a day, provided there is enough wind. The electricity can then also be stored in a battery bank and used as needed. By comparison, a 100 watt solar generator only outputs electricity for about 8 hours per day in peak sunlight hours. The advantage of using a treadmill motor is that treadmill motors are widely available and easily procured. After all, with the grid down, who will use them? They can also be purchased from garbage dumps, thrift stores, or purchased inexpensively online. They have good volt slash RPM ratios. In fact, a treadmill motor will output 4 volts or more just by turning it by hand. That means very little wind is needed for the windmill to start generating power, 8 to 10 miles per hour, or roughly 12 to 16 kilometers per hour, as compared to a car alternator, which only generates electricity at high RPMs. The amperage is usable. For this project, for instance, the treadmill motor output must be at least 5 amps, but the higher the better. 2. Dot generator improvised from car parts. When disaster strikes you may be left to fend for yourself, and this includes generating electricity. In its most basic form, a generator is little more than an alternator with an engine to turn it. With a quarter of a billion vehicles spread across the USA, a capable survivor could easily scavenge everything needed to generate electricity on a small scale. This project uses the same principles to build a simple 12 volts DC generator capable of recharging car batteries. 3. Home Solar System Home solar power systems have really come down in price in recent years which is great news for anyone who would like to invest in an ability to generate their own electricity. You can pay an electrician to install a system or you can build your own. I suggest the later, so you understand how it works and how to fix it, expand it, or otherwise adapt it to meet changing needs. In this project, you build a 400 watt home solar power system by starting with a 100 watt solar power kit and expand it to 400 watts by adding three additional 100 watt solar panels. As you add panels, you will also increase the size of your battery or battery bank, by adding additional batteries wired in parallel to increase battery capacity without increasing the voltage. As a rule of thumb, you should increase battery capacity by approximately 35 amp hours per additional 100 watts of solar panels you add. A 100 watt solar panel can charge a 35 amp hours, or 420 watt hour. A 12 volts DC battery, in a single day's sunlight, coupled with a 400 watt solar array can also be charged 4 times over for a total of 140 amp hours, or 1. 68 kilowatt hours of stored energy per day, for years. Not a bad return on a modest $850 investment. 4. Water Wheel Generator The water wheel is one of the first technologies used by mankind to harness renewable energy. While many cultures developed water wheels, only Europe had enough streams and waterfalls and the right socio-economic conditions to run the water wheels that drove the Industrial Revolution. Any survivalist with access to a stream or river would do well to learn how to build a basic water wheel because they are simpler than microhydro technology, yet still produce energy 24 hours a day. Please click on the link below the video to watch the full content. If you are interested, 